and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're located in Kyiv, Ukraine, and we're gonna talk with our friends, dog catalyzers, guys who are dealing with a car catalyst, and today we're gonna talk with a site. So today we are gonna talk about car catalyst, how to work with it, how to get a profit from it, and we are at the dog catalyzers as our truly partner. And today we're gonna talk with the Kirill. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Kirill, could you please tell us what we'll be doing today, where we will be at, and what are you going to show us? Sure. Today I'll give you a quick tour. I'll show you how car catalysts ground down, how they are properly evaluated, and how much they generally cost. Basically, all the interesting stuff about car catalysts and soot filters. Let's go on a tour. Awesome, let's go. Let's head up to the second floor to the, our office. Kirill, could you please tell us which company you work for, what your company does, and what your role is? Look, you're currently in Catalyst Dog Company. We buy car catalysts, suit filters, anything that contains precious metals. I'm the office manager here. I evaluate and green down the car catalysts, and we also do some advertising. So, if you need a guy uh, who will give you more after the grinding, that's me. We will show you and explain uh, to you the evaluation and grinding process using this Ford Focus. That's already on my table. The guys downstairs handle the cutting with welding and grinders, while we up here work with grinding and spectrometry. Kirill, so this is car catalytic converter. Yes, it's a gasoline uh, car catalyst. It's located right after the engine. Uh, you can see its condition when cut open. More precious metals are applied to the front part at the factory and less on the exit side. Over time, these precious metals burn off, especially on the front side where concentration was bigger. Got it. Could you please explain in general, what are automotive car catalyst converter and what are they used for? Car catalysts are basically ceramic neutralizers where chemical reactions occur uh, due to temperature and the presence of precious metals like rhodium, platinum and palladium. They break down to CO2 and NO2 into substances that are safer for the environment. Got it. Why do people sell used car catalyst? Well, because we need to gain palladium and other precious metals. Uh, and the easiest way is to recover them from used car catalysts. These are recycled materials that get processed in factories and then go into making new catalytic converters. Precise sensors or even jewelry that's coated with palladium. So the catalytic converters are recycled to make new ones? Yes, new car catalysts. But the main reason people bring this in to make money of them, correct? Yes, exactly. You can make a decent amount with this because rhodium, palladium and platinum are rare earth precious metals and that's are really expensive. Is it important to use X-ray fluorescence analyzers for evaluating these catalytic converters. Absolutely, it's crucial because the X-ray analyzer provides an accurate assessment of how much precious metals is in the catalytic converter. By the way, the evaluation process looks like this. I have a device here, it's kept hidden because it's expensive. The Prospector 3 allows us to accurately assess whether it's a ceramic or metallic catalytic converter. This is a preliminary analysis before grinding, so we see how much rhodium and palladium is present. For example, if it's 100 for rhodium, that's 0.1 gram. If it's 2000 for palladium, that's 2 grams. I see. So an X-ray fluorescence analyzer is a pretty expensive piece of equipment. 
treatment. Right? Yes. Uh, how quickly does it pay off itself if it does at all? Well, it definitely pays for itself. The catalytic converter and the coating in it are expensive. But how quickly uh, it pays off depends on the market rate for precious metals. What should everybody know before entering this business? Initially, you should understand what automotive ecology is, what it consists of, and what precious metals are. Then you can start attracting new clients and educate them on how long a catalytic converter lasts, its lifespan, and when it needs to be replaced. What risks should be considered? Uh, the risks uh, include market volatility. You might buy a catalytic converter at one market rate today and tomorrow the market crashes, make it, uh, it significantly cheaper. Then you have to decide whether to continue working or wait. Not buy any more converters and hope that market rebounds so you can offer higher prices to client. So you need a long-term perspective. So you need to control and evaluate the market as it dynamically rises and fails. Yes, because we don't control the precious metals market. Could you please tell us, is it possible to scale the business and how exactly? Scaling is definitely possible. We have services like Nova Posta that help us operate throughout Ukraine and attract new clients from all over the country. We also have branches in cities like Kharkiv, Vinnytsia and Odessa. So we are currently operating in four locations. We started scaling from Kyiv and expanded from there. Your company is a successful example of scaling in the Catholic market. Uh, what are the key aspects of scaling? The three key aspects of scaling are the first, uh, honesty and transparency with our clients. A clear and satisfactory calculation ensures that clients return with friends and recommend us. Second, accurate assessment using a spectrometer to keep things transparent. Third, uh, advertising, which can be done anywhere as long as it remains honest and transparent. If we say we are buying at uh, 10,000 and then assess the client's item at uh, 8,000, that's not transparent. Now I want to show everyone the proper evaluation of catalytic converters, including grinding, spectral analysis and today's market rate. Let's go. Let's go. We take the unprocessed catalytic converter and head to our grinding workshop. So, this is our green area and this is what it looks like from the inside. Before starting the greening process, it's essential to wear these gloves and uh, respiratory protection because the fine dust is harmful to your lungs. Uh, we have uh, such car catalytic converter, we throw it inside, turn it over because chains should uh, spin inside the grinder. This is how the grinding of a ceramic catalytic converter happens. We empty it out and then move on to the evaluation. Let's go for the evaluation. Absolutely. So, you are going to evaluate this car catalyst? Yes, I'll show you how to properly assess the catalytic converter using a spectrometer to check its precious metal content. We measure the catalytic converter from the three sides, even after grinding, for a more accurate analysis, 30 seconds from each side. Totaling 90 seconds for one converter. We flip it like so. So, you use an averaging function, that's correct? Yes. Uh, you take three measurements and average them? Yes. I'm curious, how much does this catalytic convert cost? Uh, to find out the exact price, we need to weigh it. We know the amount of precious metal from the three measurement and the device's indicators, which we input into our catalytic converter calculator. 
and the price for this catalytic converter is 4642 hryvnias to be exact but if a client was here he would get uh, 47 uh, hundreds uh, we'll always round up in favor of the client now let's go and hand over the money to our client our accountant has just calculated the sum for the catalytic converter and we are about to hand it over here you go please count it to make sure everything is correct this is an example on how we operate every day assessing catalytic converters to the maximum can you explain which catalytic converters contain precious metals and which don't is it even possible Yes, it's possible. Uh, all original catalytic converters have markings uh, that can help ad identify whether they contain precious metals or not. However, there is a catch. When a car comes in from Europe, it's a 50-50 chance it could have an original or a replacement, meaning a non-original catalytic converter. They may look the same, but the markings won't match, and there won't be a precious metals inside. The only way to confirm this is by cutting it open and analyzing it. So, you can check it using a spectrometer? Yes, only with a spectrometer. And if it's a fake car catalyst, uh, it won't show you precious metals at all? It might show tungsten. Ah, so just tungsten and that's it? Yes. So, that's how you can differentiate Yes. Them. There won't be any rhodium, palladium or platinum in it, it has no value. Understood. Kirillo, your company has been in this business for a long time. Have you ever calculated how much your company would lose or under-earn if you didn't have any X-ray fluorescence analyzer? We have regular clients who are dis distributors, uh, they don't have an analyzer. They might buy, for example, 10 catalytic converters for 5000. They bring them in and after analysis we find uh, out that the actual value of the catalytic converters based on the precious metals present is only 3000. So without a device they can easily deceive themselves. It's good for their clients because they offer more, but in the long run they can sustain their business without an analyzer. Naturally, any revenue a company makes depends on its customers. Uh, is that correct? Yes. It all depends from profit, for sure. How does your company attract customers? Uh, well, first of all, uh, you need a website. Uh, then you need to be active on social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram and YouTube. We also create videos on YouTube. Have you ever used other analyzers? And if so, uh, did you notice any difference between them? Uh, yes, we have uh, had several analyzers during our years of operation. Uh, what I like most about our current device is its speed. It shows the precise amount of precious metals within the first three seconds of the analysis. There was another device that took 15 to 20 seconds to show the same data. There is also the matter of convenience. You don't have to keep holding the trigger. Just press it once and wait for the analysis to complete. Why is speed so important? How does it impact your business? Uh, speed matters because it's about customer orientation. We often have three, four clients arriving simultaneously, causing a line. Uh, they are waiting for their analysis to be completed to get the maximum value. Another aspect is when we do unboxing videos. Uh, we can ace the record for one minute uh, while waiting or 15 seconds, showing our client the actual amount of the precious metals present. So you do the valuation right away? Uh, yes, speed is the key to success uh, along with quality. In summary, if you want to work efficiently, quickly and give your client the maximum amount of money, you should buy the Prospector 3. It allows us to work both quickly and accurately, which is everything we need. Great. So, to summarize, going back to the three most crucial aspects of scaling a business, you mentioned honesty and customer orientation. Uh, would it be right to say that the spectrometer impact both by increasing speed, thus covering two of the three key points? 
Exactly. All these points lead us back to this device. The Prospector 3 because it allows us to work both quickly and accurately, and our clients are always satisfied. Kirillo, thank you so much for your time today. It was a pleasure speaking with you. And thank you for visiting us. We've, we have shown and explained everything as it is. Feel free to visit us again. Thank you everyone for watching this video about Car Catalyst. And if you are interested and you would like to open a business in this sphere or even expand your business, uh, and you have any questions, you can just call us uh, by the number that you can see on this video and uh, just ask us a question. Or you can email us and our managers will be happy to assist you with that. Uh, just like our video, click the bell button, subscribe to our channel and they'll be with us. Stay tuned and see you soon.